Hey guys, today we're going to do a little review about Aria. So a lot of it should be very familiar to you, but we're going to take it a step further and, and use Aria in a couple different ways. So here's all the formulas that you're going to need to know for this section. And a lot of them should be really familiar to you. You probably already know that a parallelogram's area is found by multiplying the base times the height, and that a triangle is the same thing but half. Um, but I need you to really know that bases and heights are always perpendicular to one another. So I know that if this length of our parallelogram, parallelogram is the base, then the height is going to be perpendicular to it. It's going to form a 90 degree angle. So a really important concept because it goes along with our triangle and our trapezoid as well. And even when we start talking about prisms, the same idea is going to be true where the base and the height are, are going to be perpendicular to each other. Looking at these triangles, we see that uh, the height may be inside the triangle, it may be on the triangle, or it may be outside the triangle, depending on what type it is. With the acute, we could draw a height inside the triangle, and it would form a 90 degree angle with our base. In an obtuse triangle, to make a 90 degree angle with that base, our height ends up being outside the triangle. Now the blue length is still the length of our base. We don't add the little dashed line, no. Um, but just understand that you get your height from outside the triangle there. Now with the right triangle, it makes it really easy because one of your legs is the height and the other leg is the base. So right triangles are really, really easy because you know their sides make a 90 degree angle anyway. Now with the trapezoid, there's a very important concept here that says that the bases are always parallel to the other base, each other, whatever. Bases are always parallel to each other. So that's why we see base one and base two here being parallel. And you can see that the height is perpendicular to both of those bases. So cool. And then lastly, we have the kite and the rhombus, where the area is found by doing half of diameter 1 times diameter 2. Diameter 1 times diameter 2. And the same thing for that rhombus. And you probably already know all this stuff about perimeter, but just read over it again and refresh your memory. So let's do some examples now. On number one, we're dealing with a parallelogram. Parallelogram. And the formula is area equals base times height. So identify the base and the height. Remember, they're perpendicular to each other. So they're the ones that make the 90 degree angle. Here's my base. Here's my height. Cool. So I know that my area is equal to... 10 for the base multiplied by 6 by, uh, for the height. So my area is 60, and that is inches, and it's area, so 60 inches squared. Cool. Up next, I have a trapezoid. And my formula is 1 half of the height multiplied by the sum of the bases, base 1 plus base 2. So let's identify my two bases. Remember, the bases of a trapezoid are always parallel to each other. So this 11 and 15, because they run parallel to each other, those will be my bases. Which means 7, the segment that runs perpendicular to those, will be my height. So I know the area is equal to 1 half of 7 multiplied by 11 plus 15. And I'm going to do a little bit of math here. And multiply it all together. And I get 91 units is meters and it's area, so 91 meters squared. And on this one, we're dealing with a triangle. 
So the area is one half of the base times the height. But you'll notice that when we find our base and our height, ooh, it's a right triangle, right? I have the height here, but I don't know what the base is. So in this example, we need to find the uh, base. And it's a right triangle. So we should find it using the Pythagorean theorem. Remember that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember, c has to be the hypotenuse, so the 20's got to be your c. And then we'll call this side a, and we'll call this side b because it's already b. So it looks like I've got 12 squared plus b squared equals 20 squared. Doing a little math, we got to get b by itself. So let's say b squared equals 256. I'll square root both sides to get b. And I find that b is equal to the square root of 256, which is 16 meters. So now I know my base, 16 meters. And now that I know that that's 16 meters, I can go back to my formula and say that the area is equal to half of my base multiplied by my height. Do a little math, and I get the area is 96 it's area, so it's meters squared. And over here on number four, we're dealing with a parallelogram. Oops, can't spell. There we go. And the formula is area equals base times height. Now you're going to notice on this one, I've got my base over here. And the perpendicular segment with that, follow the dashed line, is over here. So that means this would be my height. Because that 11 millimeters is perpendicular to our height. So the problem is we don't know the height. But I do see a right triangle in here. It's the sound effects for a right triangle. And I know that one leg is 30, and you're smart people, so you know that since this is 34, this side is 34 because it's parallelogram, and the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So I have a right triangle in here. We have to find the height. We have a right triangle. So again, we're going to use Pythagorean Theorem. Alright, so very similar to the last one. And we'll call, we'll call this the, uh, the A, we'll call this the B, we'll call this the C. It has to be the C because it's across from the right angle. And that means it's going to be h squared plus 30 squared equals 34 squared. I'll do a little math. I'll do it a lot quicker this time. Um, h squared plus 900. And subtract. So h squared equals 256. Very similar to the last one. Because when I square root that, I find that h is equal to 16. Again. So now that I know that H is 16 millimeters, I can use that area formula and say the area equals the base, 11, multiplied by my height, 16. So my area is a big fat, 176 units is millimeters and it's area, so area, or <laughs> millimeters squared.